Daniel Wiafi, the hot flipping ninja. And Melinda Wiafi. What's your nickname? I'll kick it, ninja. Miss, Ni Miss Ninja? House kicking ninja. House kicking ninja. All right, that's cool. That ain't as cool as my name. But hey, it we works. about to we at the airport, about to go to Las Vegas, our new hometown. Melinda, how's it feel getting up this early in the morning? Mm, well, I have no, I haven't had any sleep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah, we're operating on straight beast mode. I've only had like 30 minutes of sleep. It's like six o'clock in the morning. It's all good. Because two ninjas don't need no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how good you're gonna sleep when you get to Vegas. I want to sleep. That is major beast oh, mode right there. Twenty-four hours. Don't mess with this woman. Yeah. About to go to Vegas. Meet up with some business connections. About to go look at this house. I'm about to go flip. And we will all see you right. later. Right. Daniel Wiyapi, the house flipping ninja. And I'm down here in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm down here with my man and my partner, Michael Cho. How you doing, people? Hey. So, don't worry, uh, he's a little bit embarrassed to be on here. I said, hey, wear shorts and show off your pretty legs. <laughs> but <laughs> this man is a real estate investing uh, guru, man. This Get dude cold. is... How many, how many houses have you flipped in your lifetime, Mike? 140 homes in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, uh, Oklahoma area. Commercial and, and residential. Now that's big business. Now, yes, it is. Now, uh, how many? Now this is our first flip in uh, Las Vegas together. Is Absolutely. that correct? Absolutely, first. First flip. Okay. Yep. And started well, the process two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Now, uh, Michael, tell me how uh, damaged this house was. Tell me what the condition of the house was two weeks ago to this day when you first entered in. The number one importance is when people see a property. They don't have the ability to oversee the current obstacle of what that uh, uh, condition or the presentation of the house. I'll be honest with you, we've got a garage full of two by fours and junk and trash that we pulled out of this house. And literally, the house and the condition, I would have to say nine out of 10 people would have went, looked at it and went beyond and said, no, nah, that, that house isn't for me because they don't have the ability to see. All you gotta look at is the equity, based on the number figuring on a house to know if it's well worth awesome. or not. That's awesome. And so what I want the point of this video to uh, get at is that no matter who you are, no matter where you're at, no matter what side of the railroad tracks that you grew up on, you can do it. You know, look at us. We're the uh, rush hour of real estate. That's right. Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, <laughs> baby. You know, we're going to take this city by storm. And it all began with a direct mail campaign, a direct mail campaign. And I had help from my coach, RJ Kirst, with a direct mail campaign. But then when we got here, when we got here, if it had not been for this man and his skills and his uh, just foresight, you know, this deal couldn't have happened because we ran into so many hiccups, it wasn't even funny. And so, uh, people, it's important for you to get good partners because Absolutely. when you have good partners, you can trust them, and you don't have to carry the whole load by yourself. And when you have partners, you can make more money in the long run because even as we speak right now, we have deal upon deal that's uh, racking up and that uh, we're formulating right now. And so, it, it, it's just crazy. I, I'm going to move down here in about... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's stop holding each other. Two, two months. Kind of, yeah, two, two months. months. Two, two months, months time. In two months time, I'm going to be down here. But I was able to uh, flip this house with the help of this man over here. I mean, he did like 85% of the work. Honestly. But he started it. <laughs> he got the deal, got it rolling, and that's what's important. It doesn't matter, you know, on an uh, equity time basis what partners do. It's just that at the end of the deal, you get it finished. That's what's most important. And you know, partnerships are so awesome because of the fact that you bring skill sets that you, you might not even know that you're weak or somebody might be stronger. Now, if two people are very like, like two peas in a pod, probably isn't gonna help because you guys are working on the same thing. But when you have partners that are diverse in all different levels of skill and you might not even know that that person has until you know, they're put through the fire and it's gotta get done and they jump through the hoops and get it done, that's why partnerships are so successful. Right. Whether it's knowledge or wisdom that somebody has or an op 
a way of marketing to find a property or to close it out or the construction side, it is so important to partnership. I recommend everybody to partnership with everybody, to be honest with you. And if you take the greed factor out of it, why not? A corporation, uh, General Motors is not ran by one CEO with no, no other people in management. Why do they have so many people in management and have specialties, uh, vice presidents of this and that? Because of the fact that it's strength in numbers. I really believe that because it's biblical. You work together for a, a, a finite goal of selling a property, but then you bring all your skill sets. And if you're really a team member, whatever skill sets that you have, you can lend yourself and be open and say, hey, let me take care of that. Now, when you have a good partnership, everybody should be saying, hey, what can I do to take things off your plate? Yes. You know, what, what do you got going on? Are you busy right now? Let, let me help you out. You tell me what needs to be done, and then I'll tell you what needs to be done on my side, and everybody contributes to meet to the final goal. Okay, it's like, it's like a race where we baton to our teammates, and they take over because now I'm tired running. So you baton it over. Catch a breath, he comes back around, batons something back to me. That's what success is all about. And I guarantee you, your deals will go a lot quicker with good coaching and good partners. That way you don't get burnt out doing one yourself. Yeah, you're going to make more money, absolutely, if you do it yourself. But yeah, you might not know the construction side, and a project could take six months. Instead, you work with partners, and a project can get done, bought, remodeled, cleaned up, and sold in two weeks. You be the judge. And I can appreciate that track analogy. You know, if y'all know me, I was a track superstar back in the day. Matter of fact, I can still be happy y'all watching this video. <laughs> Bring it on. But you see, different people have different traits and different uh, skill sets. Like myself, I am a marketing guru. I've made tons and tons of money marketing, internet-wise, and such uh, likewise. This man right here, he's uh, an expert in the area of negotiation. He's an expert in the area of uh, construction. And then all in between there, we all have uh, different skill sets which lend each other to uh, each other and allows us to uh, do big business. And so um, enough talking, let's like look at this house real quick Absolutely. and just let you see like how big this house is. It's huge. It's like, uh, like a half mansion. Absolutely. And uh, how many square feet is it, Mike? 3,700 and some change. So how tall are the house. ceilings? I'm just giving them a the uh, The ceilings are 24 feet. Look, maybe if I run and jump, I can touch the ceiling. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done, but we got it done very efficiently, worked around the clock, and got it done uh, a little over two days. I'm partnering up with people that actually have done it and know that gives you the encouragement. That gives you the encouragement. That's why Daniel and I partnered up. Uh, he, he was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He, he, this is the first time him coming here. He, he, you know, he actually just got here and never walked through the house, never saw uh, besides pictures. So when I told him, it gave him confidence to say, hey, as, uh, as your partner, let me, let me handle this. How many times did I call you and say, oh, Daniel, I don't know how to tear this wall out, or I, I, you know, I, I don't know. Zero. You know mm -hmm. Nothing. Zero. I got it done. Got here on Friday. By Sunday, we're done. By Monday, we're selling it. That's how it should be. But that's where partnerships work great. So I highly recommend it, and I encourage everybody, real estate is the best investment opportunity right now. That's good. That's good. And uh, so in uh, wrapping this uh, shot up in this video, I want to say that uh, before you can run, you must first crawl. And when you are getting started in real estate investing, focus on the things which you can get in and out of quickly. Because when you get in and out of uh, a deal quickly, then you can make your money uh, quickly and you're out. You know, it's not uncommon for you to make five to ten thousand dollars on a flip, no matter what area of the country you're at. Uh, matter of fact, I've only done about uh, six deals myself personally, and um, the most that we made was uh, sixty-five hundred dollars on a flip. But that's uh, because we were flipping cheap homes in Oklahoma. You know, now we're here in the big leagues. You know, if you go to a place like Nevada yeah. or California, Florida, uh, places where the uh, real estate markets, um, uh, the, high, the homes are high priced, then you have higher priced homes. And with the higher priced homes, you have a higher potential to earn more money. But again, first uh, crawl before you walk. 
Did I say that right? Yeah, first crawl before you walk, and then walk before you run. But anyways, uh, this is, oh, I must say this before we end this video. When you're partnering up with people who have different talent levels, if you, me and Mike, we're a perfect uh, fit together because I trust this dude um, uh, with everything. So I can par uh, partner up with him and I don't feel like he's gonna jack me or screw me or whatever. But if you uh, want to team up with somebody who has expertise in an area that you don't have expertise in uh, and you don't know them, don't partner up with them, but instead JV with them, joint venture with them. So where you're only getting together on that one deal and then if um, things should change in the future and you guys feel comfortable together at, uh, in a uh, business partnership together, then go ahead and partner up. But anyways, this is enough. We got to go back out there and see the beautiful sun and the palm trees and all that other good stuff. This is Daniel Wiafi, a.k.a. the House Flipping Ninja, and Mike Cho. Show me the money. Show me the money. We are out. I got it. It's, it's going. Yeah. All right. Daniel Wiafi, House Flipping Ninja. We are leaving Vegas. We've had fun times. I am both sexy, a winner, a player, <laughs> this is a real player right here, <laughs> that was good. and Las Vegas' is number one bad boy. We're out, we're making money, we're having fun, see you at the top.